searching all along. Your face is what I long and long. Without a clue, without a sign, without a question yet. The real question to be asked: Where have I been? I'm a chef, chef, girl. Actress, masquerade. Hiding both face and mind. A free for you to draw. I'm a chef, chef, girl. What a thrill to be. Please don't take off my mask. Revealing dark. Nothing is to be found. A mirror in front of me is where I find an empty glass. Reflection does the truth. It's telling what's not to be told. I need the mask. I'm a treasure trove. I was masquerade, hiding both face and mind. A free way to draw. I'm a treasure trove, chained up to my core. Please don't take off my mask. My place to hide. There's nothing inside. When it alarms me, burning down the walls, is that a way for me to break? I'm a chef, chef, actress, masquerade. I didn't both face and mind. I prefer for you to draw. I'm a chef, chef, have no face to show. Please don't take off my mask, my disguise. Give us a twelve. 
What is up, everyone? OJ over here from Player Essence. Welcome back. Welcome back to another, another PE Live. We got a good show for you guys today. Have a lot of good stuff to talk about, man. There's been like all sorts of crazy stuff going on. Um, today is production day here at Player Essence. So you guys see the green screen up. You guys see my equipment in the back. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel like moving it because I got some more production to do. So I'm recording some cool videos for you guys. Um, and those will be up tomorrow. One of them will be up tomorrow. And I'm going to record another one. 
Uh, maybe tonight with some Nintendo Labo stuff. So maybe some VR Labo stuff we're going to record. So, uh, so yeah, it should be a good day today. Good day. Been real busy. Uh, been real busy. I'm going to have probably an exclusive video for Patreon member, uh, Patreon and uh, backers. Nothing crazy. Just uh, kind of like a little uh, thing that I did with the Call of Duty game that came out. So I'm probably going to have an exclusive video for you guys. So look out for that probably in the next uh uh, probably tonight or the next day or so. So if you're a Patreon or if you're a YouTube member, you will be able to see that. And it's pretty. It's just going to be exclusive. I'm not going to make it live for anybody else. So, so there you go. Um, so yeah, going to uh, doing that. Um, what else? Ninja news for the day. Yeah, we had a Death Stranding video this morning, and it did well enough for me to say, all right, I'm going to keep doing videos for right now. For now. For now, and it's doing well enough. I mean, like, it's doing it's doing well enough. And oh my gosh, my phone's ringing right now. Let's see here. No, I don't answer unknowns. Let me put this on silent. Sorry, guys. Um, or vibrate at least. Um, so, so yeah. Um, I'm going to be doing that video for you guys as well. In terms of uh, uh, ninja news, ninja content, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Boys and girls. Um, make sure you guys check out the main page, community page. Uh, we got some polls that are going up. Um, seems like a lot of you guys are going to wa like watch Death Stranding. So, we had 761 votes and at least 761 people watched my video this morning on death stranding so you guys pass for now okay you guys pass for now you know um i appreciate the support on the video you know did better than my detective pikachu video so i'll give it that but make sure you guys check out the video if you haven't already done so i'm gonna open up um a link and i'm gonna put that link in the chat here uh make sure you guys check out that video after you watch or after we're done streaming today make sure you put it on your watch list um, so make sure you guys check out that we had a fire emblem video yesterday, which is doing very well like always So, uh, you guys will get more fire emblem videos Um, that video is doing good. So shout outs to the nearly 4,000 people that have already watched that So thank you guys for the support on that one Um, and yeah more fire emblem videos coming more fire emblem videos coming. We're gonna get more information Uh, we got let's plays coming of it. We got gameplay videos We got all sorts of cool stuff with fire emblem So make sure you guys check out the content on fire emblem and i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna add a fire emblem tab um, I just got to make sure that all my Fire Emblem videos are actually in the, the playlist. So what I mean by that is um, if you go to my channel, um, this is where you guys should be going. You guys shouldn't be relying on um, YouTube sub boxes. You guys should just be opening it up whenever you wake up in the morning, whenever. Whenever you got a little bit of time, you just head straight to the video page. You know, straight to the uh, regular page. Um, and if you go to my home tab here, I'm going to add another row here with Fire Emblem. So we have uh, Player Essence. We have the PE Podcast. We have PE Live. But I'm going to add a, probably another row with Fire Emblem content so you guys can just have on-demand access to my Fire Emblem, a whole playlist full of Fire Emblem awesomeness. So I, I just got to go through and make sure that all of my videos are tagged with the right stuff. So we are going to have that. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and go back over here. Um, all right. So if you want me to say hi to you, feel free to say hi in the chat. I'll be more than happy to say hi to people here. We already got, what, 70, 80 people here. So shout out. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and start out here. Um... Angel Page is here. Lion Star, what's up, guys? J2 Blue is here. What's good? Shadow King, man. Hopefully you feel better, dude. Heard about the accident. So hopefully you feel better, man. Uh, the Hands of the Third, what's up, man? VC, what is up? TH3, what up, man? Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, Dustin G, what up, Dustin G? Shout out to Elite Ninja Dustin G. Elite Ninja Mensa Botang, what up, man? How's it going? How's it going? Good to see you here. Um, all right. Skip It Productions, what's up, man? How's it going? um five nights and freddy's what's up man good to see you here like always fist bumps shadow king once again midas magnazone what's up man um yeah vc is gonna be on the podcast <laughs> vc is gonna be on the podcast remember though guys it is uh with the uh tier threes and up you guys do get a shot to be on a podcast um at least just once a month nothing crazy not every single time because we are going to start having some more guests and stuff like content creators that you know, but uh, that is a tier three thing that you get. You get, uh, you know, you are eligible to come on, you know, once a month. So there you go. Um, all right. So <laughs> VC will be on tonight. Um, all right. So T Pianis with a $3 donation. Thank you so much, T Pianis. Appreciate that with that shimmy. And he says, yo, OJ, watching from work. I remember last year you said you do a Toby E3 review. Is that coming this year? Toby had been MIA. Has been chilling with uh, the Kamu Kamu Dimension music, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Gerudo Town theme. Yeah, um, I will be doing some uh, funny skits with Toby. Toby is definitely making a comeback at this year's E3. I needed some, Toby needed some some space. He needed some time to breathe. I see Party Man in here too. What's up, Party Man? Uh, but uh, 
I, Toby needed some time to breathe. And now that he's gotten that time, he's going to be back. We're going to do some funny skits with Toby um, at this year's E3. You'll never see it coming. So <laughs> so you, you guys will get something like that. So look look out. Look out, TP Ennis. Look out. <laughs> All right, so let's go on. Let me let me make sure I get your name up here, uh, T. Panis, and get your music going. So let me start with your name. You guys give some love. You guys give some seringans. You guys give some emos to my dude, T. Pianis, with the three dollar donation. And I thank you for using Streamlabs even while you're at work, man. I appreciate that with the three dollars. That does make you the top stream ninja. So I do appreciate that. And let's get your music going here. You wanted some Legend of Zelda, I see. A man of a man of good taste. Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, G. All right. Okay, I think. Uh, let me know how it sounds in the chat, okay, guys? All right. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up, Arash? How's it going, my man? Um, Dank Meme, what's up? Alonzo Vines, what's up, man? Um, Hunter N64, what's up? Midas, what's up? Uh, Jordan will roast the hell out of DC. Oh, man. I don't even want to... St I don't even know how it's going to go. Um, all right. Yo, shout out to Elite Ninja Robert, co-captain of the Viking Nation. What's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you here. Um, Balto Dirtfish, what's up, man? How's it going? Loki G, what's up, man? Sounds good. All right. Good stuff, guys. KJ2399, what's up? Danny Ingram, what's up, man? Arum M, what up? Blanket6, Kenyatta Ali, Alucard226. What's up? All the homies rolling through. I don't know who else is here. Let me see. Make sure you guys say hi if I haven't said hi to you yet. Matt Lippy, what's up, man? I haven't seen that name in here before. Uh, Dawson31, what's up, man? What's up, dude? Angel Page, what's good? What's good? What's good? Joe P is here as well. What's up, Joe P? Yo, ASD. What's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you here. Ronnie B is here as well. What's up? Luigi Dudes, old backup channel. What up, man? Um, good to see you here. Tim W. What's up, Tim W? Good to see you here as well. J2 Blue, Sexy Jutsu Originator. What up, man? Rilo. What's up, man? How's it going? Nindy Gamer. What's up, man? Um, Wizard, what's up? Jumpmon, shout out to the Reningon user Jumpmon. What's good? Fairy Tiger, yo, shout outs to co captain of the Viking Nation, Fairy Tiger. Good to see you here, like always. Blaze Bradley, what's up, man? Um, let's see here. Um, Kid Rattata, what's up, man? <laughs> Dr. Mario video. Everyone always says, yo, OJ, I watched the Dr. Mario video. I hate, I hate that video. I really do hate that video. <laughs> I honestly do hate that video, like, with passion. <laughs> um, let's see here. Shadow King 1982 says, uh, Toby versus, uh, Toby versus Cobra Commander make it happen. One of these days, man. One of these days when I meet Angry Joe. Um, all right, guys. Shall we get into the content here? Um, I, I don't need your email for the Google Hangout. Don't worry. You're going to be in a group chat with me, Jordan, and Baron tonight so the group chat will give you the the link for the um google hangouts so um all right guys so let's go ahead and let's get into this content here so um <laughs> toby versus baby oj now i got a special video for you guys uh right before e3 i don't know what i'm gonna i'm gonna try to see if i can get some production done tonight on it uh but i got a really special funny funny as hell video uh for you guys <laughs> i'm laughing dude i'm i'm laughing even thinking about it i got a really i got the i i got the basic gist and the idea of what i'm gonna do but i got a super funny e3 video for you guys so look forward to that um at some point before e3 drops um like i said i'm doing some more production stuff you guys saw like the return of the you know me being on the face cam behind you know stuff like that when it comes to the uh the backdrop you know so uh so yeah yeah you guys are gonna get some better qual higher, higher quality videos and i figured out my camera like slanting that was going on so i got that balanced out for this video today um I'm, today i actually just recorded an e3 video today i wrote to e3 video about nintendo's e3 so that will be up tomorrow morning so look forward to that that's gonna be hype uh, that's gonna be really good so yeah man yo fairy tiger what's good fairy tiger what the shimmy and he says play some battle theme from octopath oh and i like your dr mario video <laughs> 
Oh my god, I've never had so many weirdos in the chat than my Dr. Mario video. Oh my, go look at the Dr. Mario video and go look at the people that are commenting on that video. That's all I gotta say. And I mean weirdos in a good way, but oh my gosh, I feel like it's like PewDiePie's comment section or something like that. Goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> that's that's the main reason why I haven't done, like, I don't want people to think that that's the type of content that I'm gonna be doing on this channel is content like that, dude. Like that's the reason why, to be honest, that's the reason why I haven't done another one. It's just like, I don't want to do content like that. I really don't want to do content like that. Yeah, it's going to get views, but only because of Brental Foss's song. Not because of what I'm doing. It's because of the song, more so than anything. Um, all right. So, <laughs> shout-outs to Fairy Tiger. Yo, Fairy Tiger, that does make you the top stream ninja for today. Thank you so much. And, of course, you are Hokage mode as well. So, you guys give some love, Shiningans, and emotes for Fairy Tiger showing the big support to the village today, man. And for the whole month, really, with the Hokage mode. Uh, so thank you so much, Fairy Tiger, man. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate the support. Keep on working hard for the Viking Nation over there, getting those streams early for you. Well, it's early. It's somewhat early for me. It's afternoon for me, but it's late for you. But I mean, it's better than what we had before. <laughs> it's better than before. So shout outs. All right. So let's go ahead and get your uh, Octopath battle theme. Uh, Octopath battle theme. All right. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's, that's barely default. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see here. Um, any other any other people that I haven't said hi to? I think I've said hi to everybody. I think I've got everybody here. Pro Jacob, what's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you here. Chuba, what's up, Chuba? How's it going? Dragon Lady Gaming UK, what's up, Dragon Lady? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get into this first content here, guys. Um, how's it sound, guys? How's the audio? Is it too loud? Not loud enough? Let me know in the chat. Um, so it looks like Nintendo is adding some Amiibo support and VR support to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I don't know why you'd want to play Smash Brothers Ultimate like this, but then again, I don't know why you'd want to play Legend of Zelda like this either, and Nintendo still added it. It looks like they're, they're going to try to add it to all their big games, you know, all their big, huge 10 million plus sellers are probably gonna get labo support yo what's up andre how's it going my boy good to see you here what's up geek how's it going man uh so so yeah it's getting support and here's the reason why we know this isn't official quite yet but it looks like people have data mined things out and uh the end game notice from this th this update's going down tonight guys so um VR mode is now available. A whole new perspective on the Smash action awaits. You can play VR mode using the Toy-Con VR goggles sold separately. Um, maybe down two on the volume. Okay. Cool. I told you guys to let me know how it sounds. Nobody's letting me know how it sounds. Hold up. Let me go down a little bit. All right. So, so that's basically what's going down here, guys. Um, also, the Amiibo support's a little bit more exciting. That's not all for the update, says Nintendo Everything. Now you can send your Amiibo off on journeys to train via the games and more Amiibo menu. Send your battle-hardened FPs out, um, out into the wide world to spar with other FPs. Amiibo you've sent on, on a journey will relentlessly pursue their training until they come home. FPs can now join battle arenas. Show everyone the power of a trained amiibo. So let me tell y'all something right here, man. Um, let me tell you guys something. I had a freaking nasty Sheik FP. Oh my gosh, this Sheik was dope. I trained the heck out of this Sheik. It was strong, it was built up, and it was bodying my brother and other people, man. I remember I gave it to my brother, and him and his friends could not beat that amiibo, dude. Like, I remember doing that. Him and his friends could not beat that amiibo. So, <laughs> so I think I'm going to do, I think this might actually get me to do this. To see if you guys can beat my, well, Sheik's trash in this game. So maybe I'll train, like, my wolf amiibo. And I need to get the Joker amiibo. I'll train that. So maybe I'll train, you know, I have a wolf. Oh, I don't want to open up my wolf amiibo, though. So I, I got, I'll just train another Sheik amiibo. You guys will probably be able to body that one. Uh, but anyway, um, I don't have a, I don't, I don't have another, I have to buy another wolf amiibo and I have to wait for the Joker amiibo to come out so I can train that one. But that's actually a pretty cool feature. I, li I like that feature, being able to send off your amiibo and it can battle with other people and it can also join battle arenas. So that means you can have like an amiibo battle off, 
so somebody can add their amiibo into an arena and we can have we can see whose amiibo is better i actually like that we can have an amiibo tournament little round robin with amiibos let's go it sounds good to me train a little mac amiibo i don't have the little mac amiibo i don't have one i can go get one though they have a, they have a bunch of them at best buy they have a bunch at best buy um it's just that it's not that amiibos are dying people still buy amiibo nintendo's just not pushing it as hard as it used to be but people still buy them whenever there's new ones people buy them like you can't find like a ridley amiibo anywhere like people bought all the ridley amiibos so nintendo makes like stock of them they all sell out and then like they're not around anymore so people just kind of forget about them and then when nintendo prints more of them people buy them so it's not it, but amiibos just it's not Nintendo's not really making anything off of them. I think that's the biggest reason why Nintendo's just kind of been like, eh, with them. Because they don't, they barely make any profit off of them, you know? So, Amiibo Tony, let's go. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool. I mean, I think it's dope. We can do some dubs with Amiibos. My Amiibo and a dub versus Party Man and his Amiibo. And it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a tax on, like, the actual, like, online play, you know? Um, so, yeah, that'd be cool. I'd be down for it. I'm, I'm down for it. Uh, this update is bigger than I thought it would be. I think they would hold this stuff for 4.0. Well, I don't know if it... I mean, like, Labo support, that's not going to be something that's really... I don't think they spent that much time on that. And then if you look at, like, you know, Amiibo stuff, like, it's not even really, like, Amiibo, like, soup, like really, really like, crazy Amiibo stuff. I mean, you can send it off, it'll fight, it'll come back, you know? So, I mean, I, I understand, yeah, like, what you're saying, but at the same time, it's not like it's anything super, super, super crazy, you know? Uh, but it's cool. It's a nice little support added in. I think I'll check my Paul Tanner I mean, well, J2 Blue, you don't you don't really play with us, do you? When you, when you uh Oh yeah, because you said that your, your internet's kind of garbage, huh? That's why you don't play. Okay. Um either way, shout outs. Um what do you guys think about this? You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section. You can tag me at player essence or hashtag player essence. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys' questions on this one. So let me know in the chat what you guys think. Um shout out because I'm still waiting on my Atlanta and Sia amiibo. From, for Hyrule Warriors. I know it's not happening, but I can still hope. But uh, uh, arenas are awesome. I have the entire Zelda collection. Okay, cool, cool. Um, Amiibo tournaments and arenas sound like fun. Like a part, like a round robin, kind of. Um, so yeah, like a round robin. <clears throat> uh, TH says, uh, with this update, I'm starting to believe 4.0 was coming this June 12th with a challenge effect. Well, yeah, anytime that they release a new character, that's going to be 4.0 like hands down you don't release a new character and that's not 4.0 absolutely it's going to be 4.0 um i think there's going to be one more update before i think they're gonna, there's going to be one more update to prep and then 4.0 will drop so we have 3.1 then we have 3.11 and then they'll drop a new update because there's going to be bugs or there's going to be some type of issues with this update when it drops and you know nintendo's gonna have to fix that update so then they're gonna fix it with 3.11 and then 4.0 is going to drop, like, at E3. I think that's going to be the shadow drop, is the character. I personally think the character and 4.0 is going to shadow drop at E3. Like, bam. Like, oh, you guys going to download it tonight, or you guys can download it this week. Because it's already been, what, April, May, June. Yeah, it's been two months, man. So, I mean, I think I think we're going to see it, man. I think we can see it. Um, I'd assume 3.1 would come Tuesday to fix anything. Um, I, I don't know about 3.5. That seems like a big jump. You know, unless they add some more features, but I think they probably this is probably the next feature, the next features they'll add till um, uh, till till E3, you know. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see how how everything rolls down with it, man. I mean, I'm just excited for Smash Brothers. I mean, this has been Smash Brothers. It definitely has its faults here and there, but this has been a crazy ride. It's only been out for what December, December, January, February, March, April, May. It's only been out for five months. You know, we're going on five months six months at this point because june early june will be six months but man it's been out for half a year already which is nuts because the amount of time you know when i started first started playing the game like obviously i'm still not that great at the game now but like it, i was so bad at the beginning of the game <laughs> i was so bad at the game at the beginning because it's so it's it's the same as smash 4 in some regards but it's so different than smash 4 like it just doesn't you know, it just doesn't feel the same at all. Like, if you go back to Smash 4 and you play it, you're like, wow, this is like a completely different game, even though the game is based off of, regularly based off the movesets from Smash 4, but it just feels so different, man. Um, it feels so different. Um, let's see here. Uh, Dawson says, are you going to be trying Labo and Smash? Yeah, I'm going to make a video. That's going to be my Labo video. I'm good thing I, I didn't do the Labo video yet, 
or at least the first one got corrupted because then this is this is gonna be my labo video that i owe to you guys so i'll be doing a labo video with super smash brothers um amiibo tournaments and arena sound fun yeah with this update i'm starting to, okay i already read all this stuff uh, let's see here. This is a pretty cool feature. I, I I may actually get a Peach Amiibo to trade her up and face you. Yeah, you should do it, man. You should do it. Um, let's see here. Uh, TH says, um, I just like how nearly everyone is balanced, although I'm still waiting for them to put Sheik and Robin into the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that the game is extremely balanced. It's the most balanced Smash Brothers game that we've had. I think it's 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 more balanced than 64 and it's more balanced than you know melee it's more balanced than brawl it's more balanced than smash 4 it's not more balanced than project m project m is pretty much perfectly balanced um but it but that but that's a fan game so that's different um but yeah it's the most balanced but it, there's still some things there's still some some things here and there but yeah out of all of it because people people still know there's still no unanimous best character in the game which we've always been able to have kind of like not unanimous but like most people think like if you look at like 64 we know you look at melee it's fox if you look at brawl it's meta knight you look at smash 4 it was it was diddy kong or people could say diddy kong or Sheik. but even after all of that it was diddy kong for a long time then it was clearly bayonetta after that then it was clearly bayonetta but this one people are still kind of like okay is it is it peach is it lucina is it like is it snake you know is it olimar like people still are like yo like what is it you know like who who you know who is the best character in this game so that's a good thing that's a good thing um that that's really a good thing um uh, honest everyone is in balance but the most balanced yet yeah, but um i think he meant overall is like the everybody's character everybody's are like the overall like the whole roster um, it's not completely all balanced, but it's the most balanced that we've seen. I think that's what he was trying to get at, you know? Um, let's see. I think in this game, the most people say peach, but the gap between one and two isn't huge or isn't huge. Most people do say peach, but unfortunately peach isn't winning. Peach isn't winning as much. And there isn't a lot of super, super top tier peach players. I mean, you see the snakes, you see the Olimars. You know what I'm saying? Um, you see a lot of these other characters coming through and winning tournaments, you know? But, like, with Peach, I, I don't know. Like I said, if she is number one, then that's 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 great because Peach is easy, Peach is beatable by far. She's not, uh, like, she's not like she's, oh, my gosh, I cannot beat this character at all. She's tough. She's hard to beat, you know? But she's not, like, crazy. She's not as, like I said, she's not as good as any of the other top tiers and any of the or number ones, right? So if you look at the number one from 64, number one from Melee, number one from Brawl, number one from Smash 4, I don't think she's better in terms of in her respective game than any of those number ones. So if she's number one, that's good, you know? Uh, but you're, like, you're saying, yeah, I don't think the gap is as big as it used to be. There used to be huge gaps. Like Smash 4, by the end of Smash 4, there was only one S tier. It was Bayonetta. Bayonetta in my opinion, Bayonetta was the only S tier character um everybody else was a year below bayonetta was on a whole nother level meta knight was on a whole nother level fox some people say he's on a whole nother level in melee but fox can be easily gimped man like fox can be super easy gimped in melee that's that's the fox has a very big weakness in melee you know um so that's another thing but he's super strong on the ground uh so that's that's the issue um the best character in smash is rob's gyro rob's gyro <laughs> what <laughs> i don't think so um <laughs> you can just reflect this gyro back um let's see here with the, any character that has a reflector or absorbing like palutena like other top tiers can just just shoot a shoot a thunder jolt from pikachu you can you can stop rob's uh gyro in lots of different ways it, it's a good move though it's not bad by any means um let's see here it's just samsara and mute are, are like super good with peach yeah there's a couple other uh good peach players too uh uh yumeki there's some japanese peach players that are actually super 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 good they just don't get to travel as much um but uh but yeah um i said the same thing oh well peach is very good and tough for people but she isn't constantly winning many tournaments yeah she's constantly getting top eights you know which is samsara but i mean like where's mute ace you know like he's going to a lot of tournaments and he's not getting top eights anymore so it's just like yo i mean like you know, and I know he's a really good player. You know, I, I, th I think the biggest thing with Peach is that what people are saying is that you're fighting against Peach a lot. There's a lot of, like, a lot of people use Peach. 
maybe that she's not winning as many tournaments, but a lot of people use her, and people are just adapting to Peach. Just like you're starting to see people adapt to Olimar, adapt to Olimar, right? Like the Buzz hasn't been making a cup now in the past few tournaments or the past couple tournaments. The Buzz hasn't gotten top eight yet, you know. But no Shutan though. If Shutan was here, I think Shutan could be winning these tournaments, you know. But Shutan just can't travel. But he might be the best player in the world. He just he just can't travel like. He, he just doesn't live here. That's the only problem with Shuton is that he just doesn't live here. But when he's here, oh, man, he is very difficult to beat with Olimar. So I think Shuton might be the best, you know. But like I said, we have to wait and see. Um, Snake's Missile is the real S, S plus tier character. Snake's Nikita. Oh, absolutely. Nikita is by far the best projectile in the game. Easy the best projectile. Then probably next would be Wolf's Laser. But Nikita is definitely the best projectile in the game. By like that's an S tier projectiles. I would say Wolf's laser is also S tier, but that Nikita is definitely S tier, super S tier. <laughs> um, Shutan's the best Omar, pretty uh, pretty free, and the top three best in the world. Yeah, he is definitely. Which is it's it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that he can't travel more because if he could travel more, ooh, those top eights would be a lot harder. You'd see a lot more people that are in the winner's side, you'd see them in losers, you know? <laughs> and he'd actually, I mean, MK Leo's kind of going on a little mini tier here. MK Leo and Tweak, he'd give those two a run for their money because that's pretty much what people are saying right now is like, it goes, you know, MK Leo, Tweak, Shuton, or Shuton, MK Leo, Tweak, or Tweak, MK Leo, Shuton. It's like that and those three. So um, if Shuton came over more, you'd probably see him more constantly mentioned in the top three. Um, has Labo VR sold well? Well enough. It's, a, it's cardboard with some crappy software attached to it. Uh, it's, my God, I hate Wolf's Laser. Wolf's Laser is really annoying. Uh, it's really annoying. Um, let's see. This week, I'm going to test my skill against a friend of mine. I'm going to bop his Luigi. All right. There you go. That boy, the Buzz, is out here stunning with that 20K. He don't need any more wins. You know what? To be honest, man, like, if you look at a lot of the pots for these tournaments, yeah, that that's like that's like five. That's like three or four S-tier tournament. Like, if it's like five grand for the winner. That's like three or four of them right there. So you're right. I mean, he doesn't really need any more S tiers for a while, you know, <laughs> when it comes down to it. But I mean, you know, government's Uncle Sam's going to take a bit of that. But uh, either way, you still that's still a lot to just stockpile in the bank. So good good for the buzz on that one. Um, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right. Any other thoughts? Um well, of course, 20K is not enough, but you, you know the buzz is sponsored by Liquid by Team Liquid, though, right? So he's getting the salary. So it's not like, oh, it's just 20K. That's all he's got. He, he's getting the salary every single month, and he also streams. So he's making, you know, he's making money off of his stream. He's a Twitch partner, you know? So he's making money off his stream. He's getting salary from Liquid. Liquid's a good team. They pay well. Um, so he's, he's, the buzz is okay, you know? The buzz is okay. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I mean, Momocon was only like, what, four, or, I mean, well, 4,500, that's pretty good. That's actually really good for a Smash tournament. I mean, Smash tournaments, without the help from Nintendo funding these things, most, I mean, that's, that's really good. That's a good payout. Like, the only reason why some of these other ones, like Combo Breaker, like, where they get, their, where the payouts are bigger is because NetherRealm and because Capcom, they're, they're pumping money into the pot. Nintendo isn't pumping anything into it. So, Momo, like, 40. You know, 4500 for the first place, I mean, that's the best they can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's not made of money. And, like, you can't be charging people, you know, 50, 60 bucks for venue fees. Now, if you can charge people, you know, 50, 60 bucks per tournament, then register, like, you know, in terms of venue fees, like, if, if you can get, like, 100 something, like, 150 out of every person that comes in, then you can increase the pot. But you can't, you know? Like, you, you got to make it to where it's affordable for people, too, you know? So that's the only issue. So, I mean, like... You know, 40, 45, 4,500, you know, it, that, that, I think that's fair, um, considering that there's no external help, you know. Um, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, most poor players' turn, um, earnings or salaries don't come from, from tournaments. Absolutely. The, the, large majority of pro, the large majority of pro players... Um, uh, the large majority of, of pro players actually have um salaries that come from their sponsors or whatever the case is give me one second guys okay um so yeah 
Uh, yo, Buff Boy McBufferson. How's it going, my man? Good to see you here, like always. Uh, for the most part, uh, characters need buffs overall. Not many nerfs in comparison to previous Smash games. Yeah, I think that's really much what it is, and I'm, that's what I'm hoping for for three, the 3.1 update is that characters get a lot of uh, buffs. So, for example, a character like Sheik, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to, I tried to say that with a straight face. Uh, so, a character like Sheik, for example, you know, she could use a buff or two, you know. Uh, she could use a buff or buff or two. Um, so, yeah. Uh, shout outs to, shout outs to some dude and also Dank Meme Center. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid <thing>. Okay, shout out to Shout out to Dank Meme Center X dude with the church follow up. So I don't know why that made me laugh right now. So what? Oh my gosh. Uh Dank Meme Center X dude. Let's go. Um alright, yeah. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> was it you? <laughs> the funniest thing, uh, the funniest thing is that Dank Meme is that your name is called, it's Dank Meme Centre on here, but your Twitch is Dank Meme Center spelled right and an X at the end. <laughs> That's the funny thing. That's what I was laughing at. Um, anyway. Uh, let's see. Bayo needs a buff. Bayo, Bayonetta does not need a muff, a muff, a buff. Bayonetta does not need a buff. No, she doesn't. She's still a solid B tier character. She doesn't need a buff. You know who needs a buff? Robin needs a buff. Robin needs a buff. Sheik needs a buff. Those are the two priorities right now. Robin, Sheik, and probably Corn again. Robin, Sheik, and Corn. Those three need need buffs. Those three needs buffs. Little Mac is broken, so there's no way you can fix Little Mac because of the way that he works. If I was if I was Nintendo, I would remove Little Mac completely. I would rework him and say, okay, guys, we're going to have a fair Little Mac into play. I mean, I'd take away all the super armor and make him just a normal character with a somewhat good recovery and just make him strong on the ground like Cloud, like, you know, like, like Cloud is. Uh, but he doesn't need to have all the super armor and all the weird old properties that he has. Like, he needs to be removed and completely fixed and put back into the game. But you can't really balance Little Mac because of his damn super armor. Because he has smash attacks with super armor. He has, like, a KO punch. You know what I'm saying? He has these really dumb things about him that make him stupid. So then they have to ridiculously gimp his, his, uh, his recovery because of how strong he is on the ground. So he doesn't need any buffs. He literally needs... He needs to be a new character. He needs to be completely retooled and reworked to not be so dumb. He's the only character in the game that's that stupid. I don't understand the reasoning with, with Little Mac being the way that he is in this game. Um, I don't think if Bayonetta, die, uh, Bayonetta gets a buff, the whole, meta, the whole meta dies. I think that's an exaggeration. But I just don't think she needs a buff. Um, buff Sheik, yes. Uh, you've been drinking the happy juice? No, I'm, I'm fine. I was just laughing at Dank Meme Center when he... <laughs> thank you for the Twitch follow, though, guys. Some dude and also Dank Meme, thank you for the Twitch follows, guys. Appreciate that. If you guys have not followed me on Twitch yet, uh, make sure you follow me. You'll get a live shout-out for all my new subscribers. Um, if you want to follow me, feel free um, to do so, and you will get a live shout-out. Uh, shout-out. All right, excuse me. Um, but Bayo is bad in the Ultimate. I think you mean bad, really bad. She's not really bad. Most... most uh, most players put Bayonetta in B tier, B or even low A tier. She's just nowhere near as good as she was in Smash 4. She's just not broken. That's the reason why you think she's bad, because she's not broken like she was in Smash 4. But she's no, she's still good. She's still so, she's still a solid character. She still can kill. She can still her back air still kills. Her smash attacks are laggy and slow, but they still kill. You know what I'm saying? Like she's and like I said, she still has a back air that she can space and kill you with. She can still edge guard the hell out of you. Um, so nah, nah, she doesn't need a buff at all. There's other characters that need buffs before, uh, before her. She's decent enough. Like I said, people are just comparing her to her being broken. Like if, if, if this same style of Bayonetta was in Smash 4, nobody would say, nobody would be saying in this game that she needs a buff. It's because we saw how broken she was in Smash 4 and we want her to be, or people who like Bayonetta want her to be that broken. 
but she was nerfed so bad to the point where people say, oh my god, she's horrible. Now, no, she's not horrible. She's still better than a lot of the lower tier characters in the game. She's still better than them. She's still better than Sheik because she has a back air that can kill. Sheik doesn't. Sheik has to gimmick you out. Sheik has to hit you with a freaking grenade or Sheik has to do something stupid to kill you. And even then, it might not even kill you because you can just DI. Sheik, Sheik is the weakest freaking character. She's nearly useless. At least Bayonetta still has combos, you know? Kirby needs a buff. You know what? To be honest, I don't know if Kirby need. I don't think Kirby needs a buff too much. To be honest, Kirby the way that he's work, the way that Kirby's made is that Kirby's just a character that's just like, like, kind of silly to use because of how small he is. I don't really think Kirby needs a buff though. Believe it or not, I think the meta needs to develop more with Kirby. I think more more good players just need to use Kirby. Um, I know he's at the bottom of the tier tier list, but I don't think Kirby is so horrible in the game. Um. Do you think King K. Rool needs a buff? No, I don't think King K. Rool needs a buff either. No, I don't think he does. Because the reason why I don't think he does is because King K. Rool is so fat, dude. He's so hard to he's so hard to to kill off stage. Like the, the thing about it, guys, is that not every character is gonna be able to be freaking S tier, pe as good as Peach. There's heavies in the game. There's 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 I mean, the way that the weights work in this. Like you just can't you can't make King K. Rool super 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 good because he's so damn heavy. Or otherwise, you gotta make him lighter. You know. So it's just like, I, I don't think King K. Rool needs a buff. He's a solid B tier. Solid B tier, maybe low A tier, you know? Um, he doesn't need a buff, though. Falcon needs a buff. Falcon, I think, needs a little bit of a buff. Yeah, Falcon needs a little bit because he's too easy to gimp and, you know, he just has some issues. I think Falcon needs a slight buff, you know? Um, so, yeah. Sonic taunt to save Meow? No, I don't think so. Um... Is the E3 Smash character drop going to um, crash the eShop like Joker? Probably. Yeah, probably. Um, so, yeah. Wait, was VC saying that King K. Rool needs a buff? Oh, wait, wait let me guess. VC's a, a King K. Rool main, a main, right? Yeah. Of course VC's saying that. Of course. Of course. <laughs> King K. Rool doesn't need a buff, though. He, does, he doesn't need a buff. He's, he's good enough, man. He's good enough. He's got guaranteed setups. Like, you down throw, you've got guaranteed... You got guaranteed kills. You got a guaranteed setup off of a grab. He's got kill throws. You know what I'm saying? Like, King K. Rool's good enough. He just got to... And he's super big. His recovery's uh, S tier. You know what I'm saying? He's got projectiles. He's got a reflector. He's got super armor. What does King K. Rool need a buff for? What does he need a buff for? <laughs> he should be S tier? Nah. A heavy in S tier is a problem, dude. Like uh, somebody as heavy as King K. Rule and a, as S tier, bro, that's gonna be too much. Yo, Buff Boy McBuff McBufferson, <laughs> with the dollar, put you dollars in your pockets. And he says, "Hey, Buff J." I was talking to Sheik after I finished <laughs> finished at the gym, and she says she doesn't uh, she doesn't want my help. She said she is happy where she is. She told me she is tired of carrying players in Smash Four and wants to give her um, give her back a rest. Play that song. <laughs> oh, gosh. oh my gosh, Buff Boy McBufferson here to here to hurt all of our ears. Um, Oh gosh, this song, dude. Um, let's see here. You buff, bro. <laughs> what do you think of Diddy Kong or Donkey Kong getting buffed? Uh, Diddy Kong could probably use a little bit of a buff. Yeah, Diddy, maybe not really. Diddy Kong's a solid B tier or C tier character, so I don't know if he really needs a buff too much. But I think any character in the C tier needs a buff. You know, it'd be dope if it was just like. The S tier, A tier, and B tier. Or if it was S tier and A tier. If that was all we had and we didn't really have anybody below that, that'd be dope. So all the C tier, C -tier characters and up should get a buff. Every C tier character and up should get a buff. Uh, Donkey is a mid to high B. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong's... It, it's tough to buff uh, heavies, though. You know, I, I don't think Donkey Kong really needs too much of a buff. Diddy did might. Um, Diddy did might need a little bit of a buff. Um, but... Buff the puff. I think the biggest problem with Diddy is that people compare him to Smash 4 Diddy. 
But Diddy's still good, though. The problem with Diddy is offstage. Like, the edge guarding in this game is a lot more vicious. And Diddy's, dude, Diddy, if you're below the stage and you got to do the rocket barrels to come back, oh my gosh, you're probably just going to die. Like, <laughs> the thing with Diddy Kong is that you're probably, if, dude, if you try to do the rocket barrels, man, like, unless you're holding it for quite some time, oh my gosh, you're probably just going to die. Um, so, yeah um this yes it's that song he he likes buff boy likes that song dude um he likes the song so yeah there you go um <clears throat> you want your hoo-ha back <laughs> you want the hoo-ha back bro you know i'm not a fan of the hoo-ha i'm not a fan of the hoo-ha at all i'll be honest man so i'm kind of glad that the hoo-ha is not really here like to be honest, like, but Diddy's, Diddy's still got plenty of power. Oh, and Diddy's down smash is dope, by the way. Like, Diddy's down smash, like, you can spam, like, his dash attack, and for some reason, like, you can, like, almost cancel almost, like, the ending lag animation if you do, like, a spot dodge, and then down smash people, like, with punish. Like, I mean, I think I was, I was fighting Chuba, and I tested this out when I was just doing a little bit of training. And, yeah, after Diddy's dash attack, like, you can just spam the, the, the spot dodge and down smash, like, like instant that's i think that's why you got caught with that because like you thought i'd have more lag after it but if you spam that uh that spot dodge you can spam the spot dodge and uh, and if somebody tries to grab you with punish oh my gosh the down smash is really good it sends them flying so that's the one thing about diddy kong is that diddy kong is still super strong like his up his up smash kills his forward smash kills his down smash is super fast um he still he still has some tools he has a like, great aerials diddy's up air is good, back air is good, forward air is good, down air spikes. Diddy's still solid. It's just that his recovery is garbage. Um, and his banana peel doesn't work anywhere near as good because he, <laughs> Diddy, for some reason, goes like, huh? <laughs> and the banana peel go the banana, banana peel goes flying to where you can't do like a back air and catch it like it was before. So it's just it's just so uh it's just the banana peel is just so awkward to try to catch now. Like it's not as guaranteed as it was before. I mean, you can still do it, but you have to do like a full hop to catch it instead of a short hop back here to catch. Um, so yeah. Um, nerf the level nine CPU, bruh. <laughs> this man trying to get some CPUs nerfed. Dude, level nine CPUs will sit there and parry everything. It, they'll look like freaking Daigo versus Justin Wong. Have you guys ever, level nine CPUs are so are so crazy they will sit there sometimes they'll just be like garbage but then other times they'll sit there and parry everything it's crazy um uh, buff the cpu unlockable characters again i've already got all the characters so I, it doesn't matter to me if they buff them or not whatever yeah they tech everything too which is insane they do which i do like that they tech everything i do like that because if you're fighting against like let's say you're fighting against like a you know uh the buzz or something you know you know they're gonna tech pretty much everything or you're gonna expect them to tech most of the stuff so i can i understand why they tech everything that's that's a good thing you know uh okay you gotta tag me if you want me to notice you okay fireblade tag me if you want if you want to if you want to ask me a question if you have a comment to say to me about smash brothers tag me at player essence um i'm actually kind of excited for the new amiibo update because we can just make a battle arena and let our amiibos battle while we watch using voice chat or have teams with our amiibos to see who has the strongest uh i use kirby up smash a lot lol maybe even too much okay fire fire blade fire blade if you want to get good at smash brothers you should join up here with player essence tier two or up on patreon or you can join up as a, an elite ninja and we'll get you good. Trust me, we'll, we'll get you stop using that up smash because you'll get punished a million times after you use that up smash. <laughs> so we'll get you good at the game, my boy. You should join up here. Um, yeah, maybe you should chill on the up smashes. Uh, let's see. DX says, I'm so bad at smash, I'm a Z tier. Yo, I'm telling you guys that we got the smash camp here for you guys. Got the smash camp. Y'all join up. Y'all want to get good at smash? Come play with us. Gunslinger's getting better. VC, everybody here that's been playing getting better. Party man getting better. Everybody here playing getting better. Kirby's up smash. Uh, Kirby up smash isn't even that good. Nah, it's not. It's not great. Um, Joker's up smash is hot garbage. <laughs> Joker's up smash is hot. Dude, like, 
you'll like you'll like you'll try to hit them and a little his blade will go right through him. Joker's up smash is hot garbo. Hot garbo. Oh man. Um are we playing games after the stream? I actually think we can for a bit. Um till till I think maybe four. We're going to go for another hour, then I can play till about four, and then I got to get ready for the PE podcast. I got to get the topics ready and all that. So, so we can play for a bit. So if you want to play Smash, uh, sign up. You can sign up now if you want, if you want to play today. <clears throat> but like I said, I can't play for too long afterwards because I have productions that are going on and the PE podcast tonight. So, uh, but I can't play after the stream for a bit. Um, I only have one win in Smash Ultimate since launch day all this time. Only one win? Yeah. Only one win? Any special guests tonight? We got VC tonight. <laughs> Yo, what up? Shout outs to to Toby. Shout outs to Toby with the shivy. And Toby donated one dollar and says, Toby voice. Hey, OJ, I have some questions to ask. Why am I so fat? All I eat is mayonnaise and drink a full tank or a full fat milk. Why is Smash Netcode so bad? I play on Wi-Fi while my mom watches Netflix and it lags. They're, they're, uh, the net must be the problem. Pay, play Buff Boy song. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so let's play the thing. <laughs> Oh my god, shout out. Shout out to Toby. Thank you for the domination, Toby. I appreciate that. Um, VR Smash Bros. Yes, VR Smash Brothers tonight. I'm going to be playing in VR mode the whole time, by the way, guys. So, you guys are going to be playing against me when I'm playing in VR mode. You guys are going to get bodied. Um, if you only got one window, DX11000, you need to sign up. And we need, you need a Smash camp, bro. You, get, you can't be getting bodied this much. This is not good. This is not a good look. This is not a good look. You're going to get body. You're getting bodied so bad, your freaking children or your grandchildren are going to be bad at Smash. So you need to sign up so we can get you, so we can get you better. It's going to be in your DNA to be bad at Smash, and that's the last thing that you want. Um, let's see here. I don't know if Jordan fixes his computer. No, I don't know. Uh, my GSP goes up and down all the time. It goes up every single day or every single week or whatever. It goes up. But like it goes down if you if you lose it goes down. <laughs> Especially if you're not an elite smash, when you lose one match, you can lose up to 200, 300,000 points. Some people even lost half a million points, half a million on one match, dude. I remember when I was playing with Diddy Kong, <laughs> I was getting bodied, dude. I lost like four hundred thousand points in one match. I was like, yo, this sucks. <laughs> um, I need to get your spacing strategy down when I play you in Smash. Uh, the more you play me, the better you'll get versus me. Um, uh, let's see here. Imagine going to a tournament and getting bodied by some guy playing with Joy-Cons and Labo VR. Dude, well, he couldn't, he wouldn't be able to do that because Labo VR, you've got to, uh, you've got to, like, if you're playing at one station, you know, it's going to be hooked up to the TVs. So he'd have to take out the Labo VR. Unless you're just, like, playing for fun on the side or whatever, then, yeah, that'd be funny. But I'm pretty sure some pro players could beat, could beat us with Labo VR. I'm pretty sure. I mean, because really, if they just still have it there, it's just, like, maybe some of them could still be playing normal. But, yeah. The playing Smash with the Joy-Cons is really, like, I, I can't stand that. It's almost it's pretty much unplayable for me. The buttons are too small for for that type of game. Um, Makai, Family, and Gaming. Uh, what am I talking about? We're talking about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We're talking about uh, the game itself. Off to uh, hold up. Uh, okay, is it off topic? We're talking about Smash. That's not off topic, but I was two wins from Elite Smash Samus, but then I ran into a, a stamina battle Rosalina who spammed aerials and down me to get items. I ran so hard. Oh my gosh. Somebody's out here playing stamina battle? Bro. I can't wait for the podcast tonight. Lots of game news this week to discuss. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. It's going to be pretty good tonight. Make sure you guys check out the podcast tonight. 6 p.m. PT, 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. It's going to be pretty good. Those whack rule sets. I don't really run into the whack rule sets. And even to be, I mean, I ran into a, I only ran into a, a recently, I ran into a freaking Lucas, which I think I told you guys about. That was spam, that was 
playing one stock, one stock, seven minutes, beat me one time and left. I beat him. We were playing my rule set, seven minutes, three stocks, bodied him. He played his rule set, seven minutes, one stock, he beat me once and bounced. I'm like, oh my gosh, this dude. Um, I, I haven't ran into a stamina battle yet. I have not ran into a stamina battle yet. Um... Uh, Martin McCarthy. Um, I already talked about characters for DLC. I got a whole video on that, so check out my video. I mean, I, I don't want to be constantly answering that same question over and over. Um, Etika won with Joy-Cons. Uh, with Joy-Cons, bro. He didn't beat anybody good with Joy-Cons. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. He didn't beat anybody good with Joy-Cons. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Any other questions when it comes to Smash or anything like that, guys? <clears throat> I want to join your channel, but I just don't want to tempt myself to donate to all my favorite YouTubers. I'd be broke. Uh, no, I'm not asking you. You don't. You don't have to, bro. That's up to you. I'm just saying, if you want to play, if you uh, if you want to play against me and be on our private Discord and all that stuff, then you got to member up. But if you don't want to, then that's up to you, bro. You can just come chill out, watch if you want to. But no, it's up. It's up to you, man. Um, but yeah, I'm, what you do here doesn't mean you have to do it for somebody else. I mean, most other YouTubers or whatever with their membership, they don't give you the access to actually play against them. You just member up for emotes and that's it. So if you member up here, you actually get to play against me. You actually get an exclusive discord. There's actually more stuff that comes with it. It's not just, oh, here's some emotes and that's it. You know, but like I said, you don't have to, bro. If you want to just watch, feel free, feel free to just watch. Um... Let's see, Enrique Frazier says, I think uh, Dante DMC will ever be in Smash. Yeah, I made a video about that. I already talked about it. I think he's potentially one of the characters. Make sure you guys check out my video. If you guys like Smash Brothers, check out, just type in Smash and look at the channel. I got plenty of stuff on DLC characters and all that. For, so for everybody who keeps on asking me every single time that we come into these, I already got, I got plenty of videos on that stuff. So you guys, I mean, that'd be a lot more entertaining than me talking about it here. So, so yeah. Um... I'm honestly done complaining about rule sets. If they haven't changed it at this point, I don't think they will. No, I don't think they will either. I see no reason to complain anymore at this point. It's just, it's just the fact that it's just, it's just gonna be there. It's just gonna be there. So it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I'm not answering any Smash DLC questions, guys. Uh, I'm not answering. So if you keep on asking me Smash DLC questions, I will not answer them. Um, I already, I already said I already got plenty of videos who I think is gonna be in there. So if you want, you can watch that. But I'm not gonna be answering Smash DLC questions every single time that I stream. Um. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> I've been watching the watching since before the Great Ninja War. Brett, shout outs. Um. I want to play against you in another game. Well, it's not just Smash Brothers, guys. When you join up, we we play Mario Kart. We play. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna mix in Pokemon. We played uh, Realm Royale. We're going to play a lot of different games that come out. We were going to play Dauntless until Dauntless decided not to work, but I think it's working now, so maybe we'll head into some Dauntless. We're going to play a lot of different games. So when Poke Inter if there's a Pokemon Tournament 2, um, so whatever games that you guys are into, you guys can always suggest it on the community page and things like that. So uh, we're going to play a lot of different multiplayer games. But so far right now, the rotation is like uh, Realm Royale. We've played that a couple times. Um, we're going to play uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We play that. Mario Kart, we play that. Uh, we need to mix in some Pokemon. Uh, we've done Mario Party before. Uh, no, I didn't say Fortnite. We played Fortnite before, but I don't. Re I don't really like Fortnite. Uh, we play Realm Royale. Realm Royale. <clears throat> I think MK Lil will win Evo. What do you think? Or who do you think will win Evo? Um, I think Shuton's gonna win Evo. If Shuton is there, I think Shuton will win Evo with Olimar. My Joy-Con stick snapped off. What should I do, uh, bro? I don't know, man. Send it into Nintendo. Buy a new one. I would play, but my internet is hot garbo. All right, hot garbo. Got you. How come no one? How come nobody uses Villager or Yoshi in Smash Bros? People use Yoshi. Uh, Villager not so much, just because um, Villager is, is just he's good, but he's just a little weird. Just none of the top players use him because in order to kind of get kills with Villager, you got to do some like weird setups and stuff like that. So there's just other characters that they can use that's easier to use than Villager. Um, but if Renai was actually playing again, maybe Renai could use him. But a few people use Villager, but just it, Villager's not as popular as he was. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, shout outs to Streamlabs with the dollar donation. He says, hey OJ, it's me, Streamlabs. I quit. All you do is say become elite and follow me on Twitter. Uh, guess guess you are going to have to reinstate Nightbot. I am not Night... Um, I am not Nightbot doing an impersonation of Streamlabs as revenge for enslaving uh, me play that song. You know it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shout out. Shout out to Streamlabs. Streamlabs... Is, he wants streamlabs is, it, it, it's a coop <laughs> so streamlabs is being mind controlled dude um <clears throat> being mind controlled dude completely mind controlled i literally just said makai i just said that i play super smash brothers ultimate i play mario kart and i play realm royale i, I just said that so of course i play on nintendo switch super smash brothers ultimate is only on nintendo switch so um Yes, I remember the Wayne Gretzky cartoons. Mind transfer jutsu. Yes, definitely mind transfer jutsu. All right, let's move on to the next topic here, guys. Uh, we've got uh, Destiny Connect is launching on October 22nd here in the West. I'm actually... Oh, hold up. No. No, not that one either. There we go. There we go. Um, Destiny Connect is launching October 22nd in, the, in North America. October 25th in October... Or in Europe. October 25th in Europe. Not in October. October 25th in Europe. So awesome stuff here. This is an NIS America game. I'm actually really looking forward to this one here. Um, it's an RPG, and there's like time travel in it and some cool stuff. So I like that. Uh, the town of Clockney is celebrating the uh, advent of the new millennium when time suddenly comes to a halt and a horde of hostile animated machines appear. It um, It's up to a young girl named Sherry. Her friend is it the uh, what is it? Peg Pegro um, and Isaac uh, Pegario. Pegario, something like that, um, and the time traveling robot uh, to unravel the mystery behind the strange events. Together, they revisit the past and peer into the future, learning some new interesting things about their families and peculiar town. So there you go. Uh, key features: Time Walker, uh, explore the ignatic town of Clockney. I'm actually super excited for this game. I want to play it um, and watch the world shifts around you based on your actions. Gear Grinder. Use the mechanical skills to fend off hostile machines and manipulate parts of the environment. It's a turn-based RPG, this game. And Fixer Upper. In, uh, enter workshops where you can improve your items and equipment using gears. Yay. All right. So let's see here. Let's see. Let's take out the new trailer. Let's see if the trailer is dope, too. It's oh, New Year's Eve. And the town of Clockney is about to clock out. Meet the fearless Sherry. Her friend Pegrio. Pegrio. And Isaac the robot. To save their town, they must traverse history and solve the mystery. Gear up for adventure. Learn from the past. Save the future. And take history by the hand together. Destiny Connect, TikTok Travelers. I'm copying, I'm totally copying this. There's a, there's a physical edition of the game and there's digital guys so for those who want like a physical edition it's coming physical too so there you go uh somebody said what is this and i literally just explained the game beforehand i said it's a turn-based rpg i said it's from nis i explained everything then somebody still says what is this well, how how i literally just explained the game and what it is i read off the whole explanation of what the game is the features told you guys what it is and somebody still says what is this <laughs> um it's on ps4 i think it's on it's not on pc it's on ps4 and switch you don't have a switch or a ps4 you don't have a switch or a ps4 come on you gotta have one of those you only got pc minus magnezone oh man what the heck no switch or ps4 Bruh, this man out here only with the PC? Oh no, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. You gotta get yourself a Switch or a PS4, dude. 
Um, let's see here. Why does this game look, uh, feel so much like Evolution Dreamcast game? It, it kind of has that style of it, yeah. It kind of has that style. I like the time travel stuff. I'm big into time travel when it comes to RPGs. If a game has time travel, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. So, it's pretty cool. I like that. I hope to before Sword and Shield. All right, there you go. It's all good. Midas Magazine, as long as you get one at some point. But yeah, I don't think it's... A, although, it might be PC. Actually, hold up. Let me double check. I think it might be PC. Uh, no, it's just, it's just PS4 and Switch for right now. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry about that. Yeah, PS4 and Switch. I'm looking forward to it. Looks dope. <clears throat> yeah, the trailer didn't say PC. I thought maybe they just left it out, but nope. No PC. No PC. <clears throat> no PC at this point. All right, you guys have any questions on this game or anything before we move on to the next topic or before we move on to random Q&A? All uh, the update. Actually, nobody's asked about the update, but no, the update is not live. Not yet. And nobody's actually asked about the update. If it's live or not. Um, let's see here. Shout outs to uh, shout outs to Buff Boy McBufferson. He says, I want to be real for a minute. To all the people in here uh, who are struggling finding a partner and being confident, I give you this advice. Work out and eat healthy. Two years ago, I started uh, taking that advice, and my life is so much better. Play F.E. music. Shout out to Buff Boy. <laughs> Listen to my man Buff Boy, dude. Listen to Buff Boy. Um, shout outs to Buff Boy. Let me know how it sounds in the chat here, guys. Too loud, not loud enough? Let me know. Finally a new song yet. <laughs> just gotta go, just gotta go buff, bro. Yes. Five Nights at Freddy's says, uh, when does the update go live? I don't know when the update goes live. It should be go live sometime today, man. But if I knew, I, then I would tell you exactly when. But I don't know when it goes live. Um, what's up, uh, oh, Onaga64? What's up, man? All right, looks like you guys don't have questions on this game, Destiny Connect. So we're going to move on to random q and If you guys have questions, I've got answers for you, maybe. Um, I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Just tag me, at Player Essence, hashtag Player Essence. We'll answer your questions and then um, we'll play some, we'll play a little bit of Smash before I have to do other stuff. Um, like I said, but we can't go past. We gotta start Smash like at three o'clock. So I got about maybe about 30, 30 minutes or so. We'll probably start a little bit before three o'clock my time. Um, we'll get about maybe an hour of Smash in or so, and then I gotta I gotta get back to do some video production stuff, and then I got then I gotta get ready for the PE podcast. So so yeah, and then probably tomorrow. It's Friday, so we can play. We can play games for a lot longer tomorrow because I don't have any. I'll, I'll be done with most of my production stuff. Too low. How's that? Uh, will you be doing sponsor battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield? Probably, yeah. Can you put Buff Boy other song to a higher donation of uh, 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 similar to Buck Bumble? Um, yeah, I mean, since that song is so stupid and it's kind of like a troll song, I could, um, but I can't do it now at this point. I can't enact it right now. That'd probably have to be for like the next stream. So if you can put like a, a like, like that song, like it has to be a minimum of like five. So we can do that, but not this stream. That shirt's clean. Oh, thank you. Spider-Man shirt. I like it. I like and subscribe. Did you subscribe? Nothing popped up here. 
I think there's been some issues with subscribers popping up through Streamlabs. I'm not sure what's going on. So if you subscribe, thank you, man, for subscribing. I appreciate that. Welcome to the village. There's supposed to be a pop up for anybody new who subscribes. I don't know why it's not. Uh, but if you guys have questions, um, let's see, it should be five for everybody else and one for me because I'm buffed. <laughs> well, no, you can still request any song for a one dollar. That's fine. It's just that that stupid Resident Evil song. They weren't saying that you only every song that you want to request is five for you only. I wouldn't. That's that's. I wouldn't do that. But it's like when people were taking advantage of the Buck Bumble song, you know, and just like donating one dollar for Buck Bumble. I was like, okay, no, it has to be Toby Blaster for Buck Bumble. And then they significantly went down, you know, in terms of like the request for Buck Bumble. So I think that's the issue some people are saying. That song, everyone's saying that song is trash. Uh, and people actually like Buck Bumble. But me, I can't stand hearing Buck Bumble so much. So I think that's what, that's what they're saying here. Not, not every song. If you ask for Fire Emblem, oh yeah, no problem. No problem, no problem you know. Um, let's see here. Um, Aaron, once again, we do, uh, we do, uh, if you want to request a song, my boy, just drop a donation and then put the song that you want inside there, okay, man? If you want to request a song. Um, Shadow King says, will you be discussing the best licensed game of all time? That remaster that was just announced for the Pete podcast. You know what? I totally forgot to talk about it on this podcast. Um, <laughs> I, I, it just slipped my mind, but yeah, Ghostbusters is getting remastered and I'm freaking hyped. I love the Ghostbusters game. I like the song. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. I love that song. When I was a kid, dude, Ghostbusters was the thing. Well, Ghostbusters was 80s, so it wasn't, I mean, like, I was on the tail end of the Ghostbusters hype, but it was still around when I was a kid. It was still super, um, my brother was like, like, head first into the Ghostbusters hype, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, when I was a kid, Ghostbusters was still super popular, and then by like the mid-90s, it pretty much already died out by then. But man, dude, early 90s Ghostbusters, I watched all the movies my dad got us, all the, the DVDs, I used to watch Ghostbusters all the time. And there was the toys. There was a whole lot of Ghostbusters toys. There was uh, shirts. There was just, man, it was everything was Ghostbusters. It was a stupid TV show. Um, oh, my gosh, dude. When I was a kid, Ghostbusters was so big. Um, so, yeah, that game, when the game came out in 2009, I was like, oh, this is dope. There was a Wii version of the game, which was a little bit different. Um, had a different art style. Then there was the Xbox 360 PS3 version and PC, which had, like, more of a realistic style. And they're both good games. They're both really good. I beat the Ghostbusters game on the Wii, and I beat it on the Xbox 360. It's really good. I'm down to play Ghostbusters again. So, yeah, uh, Ghostbusters, the video game, it's a remaster of the HD game that's already in HD. It's an HD remaster of a game that's already in HD on the Xbox 360 and PS3. It's good. It's good. If you like Ghostbusters, then play. Even if you don't like Ghostbusters, play. It's freaking awesome. The game is really good. Uh, so who are you going to call? <laughs> Ghostbusters. Uh, let's see. I'm still hyped for Death Stranding. There you go. Watch my video. Um, let's see here. Uh, when could the Avengers Project come out? I think probably early 2020. I'm thinking 2020. Yeah. Uh, that song is fire. That song is fire, dude. It's so good. I love the Ghostbusters song. I'm going to get copyright claim, though, if I play it. So, But no, it's it's super, super, super good, man. Ghost, the video game is really good. The Ghostbusters video game is really good. Um, so, yeah. It'd be dope if they brought over the Wii version, too. Like, you get them in a double pack, but they're not going to do that. Because the Wii version is actually a different game uh, than the PS3 and 360 version. Um, but, yeah. The, that, one, that one's really good. Um... <laughs> Shout outs to Buff Boy Big Bufferson with the dollar donation. He says, I found a new Resident Evil song. Play Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island uh Yoshi clan. Okay. Shout outs. Thank you so much. Also, shout outs to Hunter N64 with the shimmy. And he says, please play Pikmin, the Forest of Hope. Okay. Pikmin the Forest of Hope. Gotcha. Gotcha. We're gonna start off with the Yoshi clan song. This song might this song's gonna be all jacked up. Thank you for the donations today, uh boys and girls. Shout outs to the Elite Ninjas. Thank you. Uh Yoshi. Yoshi clan. Wait a minute. If this is Gunner Silva, I'm not playing that crap. Yeah. Um, I'm not playing anything from Gunner Silva. Um, so I'm not playing his weirdo music. But I'll play the regular one. <laughs> this is Nintendo's version of the baseball team. Um, I like the Ghostbusters cartoon. I don't like the Ghostbusters cartoon that much, but hey, to each their own. Um, hi, OJ. Uh, what I found Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. 
uh, just for uh, threes at British pounds or euros, one of those two. In my local gaming store, I wonder if Capcom uh, gonna learn. Okay. Um, sponsor multiplayer for Ghostbusters if they bring it back with online Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Ah, oh, this funny song. <laughs> this one's better than the Resident Evil one though, I think. Um, I think this is better than the Resident Evil song. Oh, there you go, Yoshi Clan. There was a Gunner Silver version of this one, so I wasn't about, wasn't about to play that. He said, "Not by much." It, it's it's a bit better though. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Um, I don't. I haven't played Delta Rune, so I don't know what Rude Buster is. Um, was that the Buck Bumble remix? Did it sound anything like Buck Bumble? <laughs> um, do you think? Uh, do you think we'll see Diddy Kong game? A Diddy Kong game? Nah, probably not, man. Probably not. Diddy Kong Racing is dead. Diddy Kong games are dead. Maybe you'll see a new Donkey Kong game with Diddy Kong in it. Sushi Slicer says, um, I don't know uh, why, but for one and a half years, I can't finish Xeno 2. Any tips? I don't know why you can't finish Xeno 2. What do you mean? Like, you're stuck? You get beat too much? Grind, man. Level up. It's an RPG. <clears throat> Level up. Oh, uh, yeah, your Pikmin song. Sorry, that Yoshi Clan theme completely threw me off the loop. Sorry about that, Hunter. Let's get your, your Pikmin song going. <laughs> a little bit stuck. I got stunned just for a, bit, a little bit with that stupid Yoshi song, man. Um, all right, the Forest of Hope. <laughs> the Forest of Hope. Then it. Um, all right. This song's great, actually. Hunter's song should be playing. It is playing. Um, I'm grabbing it, um, at least the Switch version of Ghostbusters, if not both the Switch and PS4, like I did for Tales of Vesperia. Yeah, I'm probably going to pick up the Xbox One version and the Switch version of the game. I'm probably going to pick up both. Um, T Dude says, Do you think Nintendo will add more liable VR compatibility with first and third party games in the future? Uh, well, not, I don't know about third party games because Nintendo doesn't control that, but first party games, yeah, probably do. Um, how likely is Battalion Wars 3 to be showed off at E3? Just say yes to give me hope. I'm sorry, I'm not going to say yes on that one. Um, how likely is the Metroid Prime 4 will be canceled because of the dev hell? No, it won't be canceled. They rebooted it. So, uh, when's the PD podcast? 6 p.m. PT, 9 p.m. Eastern time. What as the name of Yoshi's, uh, the name, it's called Yoshi Clan, or whatever. Yo Yoshi, Yoshi Clan theme, or something like that. Um, yeah, Yoshi theme. I think we possibly get Captain Toad Labo VR support shown at E3. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, what's up, how's that? How's it going? Any other questions, guys? Uh, shout out to Jump Bomb with the dollar donation. Thanks to Jump Bomb with that shimmy. And he says, play credits. One from Travis Strikes Again. You can find it in the playlist with 62 songs. When you type Travis Strikes Again in OST. Jesus, why you gotta give me directions on how to play this? All right, I'll find it. questions guys hashtag player essence app player essence or just player essence uh, and i'll be more than happy to answer your questions questions this pikmin this pikmin music is so relaxing uh, nah i can't um, i can't put a dance move on the screen for 10 seconds but i can time you out for about 300 seconds <laughs> Shout out to my boy. Thank you. Thank you so much though, for coming out for this week. <laughs> Does this mean smash early? What do you mean by this mean smash early? And nobody else time him out for any other. Don't time him out for any other one. I'll just, I'll just so we can time you out for 300 seconds. How about that? Um, 
Um, let's see here. Buff J, who is stronger, you or the 100-year-old man? Probably the 100-year-old man. He's 100 years old. He's got a lot of experience. Strength comes in many forms and factors. Any guesses for third-party titles announced for Switch at E3? Nope, none. None. Uh, let's see here. Shadow King says, do you think Capcom overcharged for Devil May Cry on the Switch and make it digital only? Probably, yeah. It seems like a little bit of an overcharge for, for the game. Alright, so hey, you have two Pro Controllers. I want to get Smash version. Do you think it's worth getting one? What? I want to get the Smash version controller? I think, is, isn't the Smash version controller... I mean, if you already have two controllers, you don't, you don't need the Smash controller. Unless you really just want the Smash controller. What's the theme tune? This is Pikmin. Pikmin music. Did I get Persona Q2? Nah, I didn't get that game. Not yet, at least. Um, do you think Astral Chain will have a collector's edition? Yeah, I've already said that it has one in the West. It might get one, guys. It might. What do you have to do to get a to do a live stream fitness boxing wearing boxing shorts and nothing boxing shorts and nothing else? A fitness stream? Uh, pfft, dude, I have no idea. I don't box though. I'm not a boxer. Um. support this month fairy tiger is on a freaking roll man yo fairy tiger let's go dude shout out with the 20 with the toby blaster yo you guys give some love give some shitting guns give some emotes to fairy tiger co-captain of the viking nation with the 20 dollar donation this is play chrono trigger quarters of time absolutely we'll play that right after uh we're gonna play jump mom's uh theme and then we're gonna play uh then we're gonna play yours. Although, let me know if, if you're going to sleep, Fairy Tiger, we can jumpstart yours a little because I know it's, it's getting pretty late in Sweden, so let me know if you're going to sleep. Just tag me. If you're going to sleep, let me know and we can just play yours next. And then we'll get to Jet Monks because he lives here. So. Shout out to Fairy Tiger though. You guys got those Viking emotes? Got a couple Viking emotes for my dude, Fairy Tiger. Let's go. Elite Ninja, rise up. Um. Let's see. One of these days, when money is is tight, I'm, I'm gonna sponsor a stream to make you play Shadow of War, Mordor. Forgot which one. <laughs> Shadow of War, dude, uh, or Shadow of Mordor, whatever it was. All right, that's cool, man. One of these days, get a sponsored stream. Feel feel free, feel free. Um, so let me try to hear back from Fairy Tiger about this. Uh, no, I'm not sleeping. Watching some uh, CS from Dallas. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll get we'll get uh we'll get Jump Mon song next. Travis strikes again. What was it? Uh, credits one. You said it's in a playlist. I think this is it. Let me know if this is it. Jump on. The Wolfenstein is not my. Is this the song right here? Credits one is sixty two in a playlist. Well, I, I mean. I don't know, like, everything that you type in is not the same thing I type in, guys. So, is this the song? It says credits music. So, is this is this it or not? Okay. Your, your song, song requests, they can't be in play. They gotta be easy for me to find. Like, it can't be in playlists and stuff, guys. Yeah, because I don't. I'm not getting any 62 playlist thing coming up, you know. So just request songs that are easy for me to find, because like I'm not trying to like scroll through playlists and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Unless you provide a direct link to the playlist, then provide a direct link to the playlist and say, hey, it's in this playlist, and then this. Like, like don't make me like find it on a playlist of because I I don't see it popping up. Um.
And I don't see a 62 song playlist at all. Pop it up. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, just play the credits theme. Yeah, just um Jump on, you're a mod, so just can you link me the playlist? Link if you link uh, link me the playlist in the chat and then I can find it from there. So since you're a mod, you can do that. So link me the playlist and then I can find it from right there. We'll play we'll play uh Fairy Tiger song quarters of time while you do that, okay? song is dope. <clears throat> uh, yeah, like I said, just link me the link me that for or no, 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 no. nostalgic for me. You see, you were like, you were like, you weren't even born when this when this game was out. Shut up, you didn't play. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Dustin G says, do you think we'll get a release date for Town at E3? I'm super hyped for that game. Yeah, I think we might get something. Or hey, you can get the cartridge of Death Stranding. Nah, I'm good. Two hundred dollars for what? Is this a Mario track? What the hell, Kieran Buckley? I'm sorry, that. Man, I feel like timing you out right now, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> My hand moved to the mouse over here. I was gonna time you out. I'm not gonna time you. No, this is not a damn Mario track. It's freaking Chrono Trigger. Put some respect on Chrono Trigger's name, please. I heard you, man. I don't, but I don't really care that Zero is streaming Smash. That's good for him, but I don't really care that he's streaming Smash. I ain't worried about it, Tim. But good for him. Are you gonna play the games tonight? Yeah, Arash, I already said that I was gonna play some Smash after this. Sorry, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, it's more of a joke, more so than anything. Karen, but I don't mean it as in like I'm serious. I'm joking. But it is kind of blasphemous to call this a Mario song. <laughs> like, like it, 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 it's kind of blasphemous. But hey, it happens. Did he? I like Diddy Kong more than Donkey Who's better in what? Like, in Smash? Uh, Roller Champions? We need to see more on the game, man. I think we need to see more on the game and we can get excited, but like, when we don't have any information, I'm like, we need more information that can seem like an actual trailer. Questions, guys. Is it, is it too is it too loud? You guys gotta let me know when the music's too loud. It's been playing for like two minutes now, and it's been too loud, and nobody said anything. I played the DS version of Chrono Trigger, played through it during a, a dark time of my life, so it's definitely close to my heart. Okay, that's cool, man. That's awesome, man. Well, the dark time in your life is not awesome, but that's good that it helped you through the bad times, you know. Absolutely. Chrono Trigger is one of those games that will definitely change your perspective of life. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. You said Chrono Trigger music can never be too loud. You said you did. Okay. Did you? Um, I bought it twice for the DS. Lost uh, Since I lost my first copy. Yo, that's awesome. All right. So let's play this credits one theme. You used to did you use a grip when playing the 3ds a bit uh of an out of left loop question no i didn't use a grip no not really uh let me get fairy tiger's name up here with this kobe blaster though thank you so much fairy tiger man i appreciate i appreciate the support this month appreciate the support in general you know you've been amazing for the past year dude so i appreciate that dude i really do I'm gonna get you up here with 25 
Thoughts on the new COD trailer? Looks alright. Did you get found innocent on your first attempt on the crowd uh, of the trial and Chrono Trigger? I don't remember, man, because it was a long time ago that I played. I'm not really sure because I played the game so many times. <laughs> so the composer of Chrono Trigger's music worked so hard he put himself in the hospital. I think we owe him enough not to complain about it being too loud. Yo, bro, Chrono Trigger, I mean like Mitsuda, he's the same guy who did Xenoblade's soundtrack too, so you can see like the awesomeness, you know? Still continues twenty plus years later. Twenty plus years later. Yo, what's up, Beacon Brash? How you doing today, my man? Good to see you here. Looks like there's gonna be a new Darksiders Genesis game coming to the Switch. And it's taking the franchise in a fresh direction. Huh. Huh, interesting. So yeah, a new Darksiders game is coming to Switch called Darksiders Genesis, but it's gonna be it's probably gonna be like a 2D side scrolling game. That's what I'm guessing it's gonna be. That's just my guess. Go Beyond plus Ultra. What are you talking about? Uh, you talk about My Hero? Uh, Dustin G says, since none is asking gaming questions, do you think the Raptors have a shot? I feel people underestimate them as a team. Uh, Raptors have a small chance, but a very small chance. Very small chance. Was Darksiders 3 good? It's good not at this point yet. With the updates, they made it a lot better. I like it. Although it, re it reviewed really bad, and many people consider Darksiders 1 and 2 better. But if it had all the updates that it had at launch, I think it would have been reviewed better. Um, this is music from Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. Uh, have I played Roblox before? Nah, Roblox looks dumb, so I haven't played it. I've watched it, though. Uh, the fact that it's called Dark Side of Genesis still makes me sad. I'm, I'm still miffed at the that the three games, and they still refuse to move the plot forward. Well, they have to they have to do all the the dark. They have to do all of the four horsemen. So I mean, what do you what do you mean? They have to do all, they have to do all the four horsemen before they move everything forward. I don't really play Fortnite, nah. I already got like top. If you want to know my my top games on the Nintendo Switch and all that, check out my videos. I already got plenty of videos and stuff on there, like with top videos and all that. So that that that's what's more entertaining if you watch actually watch my videos instead of asking me questions about that. <clears throat> You didn't really like Darksiders? Oh, that's cool. That's not for everybody. Darksiders 3, you mean? Yo, what's up, Cyber Kitty? How's it going? The ending of 2 implied that they were moving the plot forward with 3. I understand, but I mean, you still gotta... You still gotta do the Four Horsemen, and you can't have the plot moving forward with the Four Horsemen if there's still some issues with what's going on with war. So, I understand, but at the same time, like, you should stop worrying about the plot and just... Have fun with the game. How about that? <laughs> Stop worrying about the plot and just have fun with the gameplay in the game. How about that? There you go. Call of Duty campaign coming soon. What do you mean by Call of Duty camp? I mean, the, the game, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the trailer was released. Yeah, it's 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 a reboot of the of Modern Warfare. Um, so did you watch your anime in lumps or by new episode? Lumps. I don't, I don't sit there and watch... Oh, can't wait for the new anime, the new Boruto. Like I don't, I don't sit there and wait for anime to be released. I just wait a 
couple weeks or a week or so or a couple weeks and then I just watch a bunch of them on Sundays on my time off after I stream go to church get back stream for a couple hours and then I watch anime and then I eat candy and watch anime till I pass out <laughs> and then I wake up and go to and then I wake up and work for Monday uh, yeah we're in Q&A I haven't played Black Ops for nah. I don't. I don't play Black Ops games. Like the the last one, the last Call of Duty game I played was Call of Duty Black Ops Two. That's the last one I played. I didn't play Black Ops Three. I didn't play Black Ops Four. I don't think I. I didn't play the original Black Ops, but I played Black Ops Two. <laughs> <laughs> the only Call of Duty games that I've actually that I've played like that I've purchased or had myself are Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two, and Call of Duty Black Ops Two. Those are it. Uh, yeah, I heard about Natsume, and that's a new Harvest Moon, Mad Dash on E3. Yeah, I'm not really big into Harvest Moon, so yeah, but I heard about it. Have you ever had uh, ever have a game that you hated but you couldn't stop playing? For me, it was Sonic 06 as a kid, a game that I hated but I couldn't stop, but I could I couldn't stop playing. Um, nah, <laughs> if I don't like a game, then I'll stop playing it. No, I don't have an Instagram. Not yet. Any other questions, guys? If not, we can move into Smash. So we can get at least a few more games in. You think Star Citizen is a scam? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I haven't heard about that game in a while. Um, do people actually have copies to play? Like, do backers actually have... Like a version of that game that they can play. Or like how was it with that game? I haven't been keeping up. Nope. So nobody can play the game. Nobody's been able to play the game at all. This whole Star Citizen game. Okay, well. It's not a scam. If they've got a beta version for them to play, then there you go. Then it's not a scam. Right? Because they got a version for them to play. So they never pro did they ever promise us like it's gonna come out at this point or this point? Now maybe if they've got a version of it that plays, then it's not a scam because there's a version that plays and people are playing it. So I guess it's not a scam. Oh, the Discord line, the, the Discord is long, the line? Oh, man. That's nuts. All right, we better, we better cut to it right now. Um... Yeah, we better cut to it. If it's a long, I didn't know it was going to be like a crazy long line. I thought there was only going to be like three or four people. Let's take a look. What the hell is this Discord popping up? Full screen for what kind of garbage is this? All right, there we go. Play other characters. What do you mean by play other characters? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's five people. Okay, that's manageable. Super Smash Sisters. Did they steal that name from the actual Smash Sisters? They should start paying some royalties to the Smash Sisters.
Sacrifice is in Bloodstain. I don't know if you play other characters you can play other characters in Bloodstain. Yeah, I already knew about that. better and hell no nah, we ain't playing with items whoever said that you go play with items you get a profile picture while you're at it too nah we ain't playing with items around here bro now, if i'm playing with my daughter and if i'm playing a bunch of people here locally with items yeah that's fun but now nah, online nah i'm good one-on-one -on -one? No items like I'll play with items like like I said if I'm playing with like, with my daughter if I'm playing with a bunch of casuals then yeah we play with items on like local that's fun but online no why would you ever Items for like, if you're playing with like, with like children, like young children, or if you're playing with like, you know, like I said, like your kid or your nephew, niece. Items are fun for that, yeah, that's fun. Ready? That's fun for that, but not like if you're trying to get better at the game, like you're playing against skilled opponents. Like Party Man and the people that are playing here, they're good. Like a lot of people are good here, so I'm not trying to sit here and throw items at them. That's Three, not better. two, one, go! <laughs> Yeah, bro, I cannot get down with this dude.
<laughs> the return three stock. Okay, Tra trade in three stocks here, party man. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, return trading three stocks. <laughs> Ready? I wonder what's the. I wonder what this is. Party man gonna three stock me here? God, come on! This might really be a three star. Damn it! GG's. Items are critically underrated and unappreciated in underutilized mechanical smash? Not really. Um, Alright, we're gonna go next up. Uh, next up is... Uh, good games. We're gonna do three games for, for this one, Party Man. Uh, next up is uh, TH3. TH3 is next up. I don't really think items are underrated. I think items are just there for items to be there. And people who want to play the game and know the mechanics and the depth of Smash Brothers uh, can play it. I think, to be honest, I think playing the game without items is critically underrated. Because most people play with items. Most people don't play without items. So I think people actually understanding and learning the mechanics. And if you hear people who, from the outside who look at Smash, they don't know how deep the game is. So I think it's actually the other way around. Playing without items and what you can do in this game is critically underrated compared to what people normally see it as, which is just a game, a party game where you throw items at each other and, and jump around and everything. People don't see it as a game where there's a lot of skill to it. So I, I think it's actually the other way around. Um, Three, two, one, go! Oh, 
Oh, I thought I'd be able to... What the hell? I should've gotten hit by that. My freaking came out first, but it didn't really do anything. Jump too. I'm done with Incinero for right now. Which you I'm gonna go random. You don't have to go random though, TH. Choose your fighter. I mean, I, I can understand why people like using items and why items are a thing, and that's fine. You should be able to play whatever way that you prefer, you know. Um, but for me, it's just ever since I saw that Smash documentary and I saw what people can do, I was like, yo, I've been playing Smash wrong for me at least. Because I'd get tired of throwing items at people. I'd just be like, alright, well... Like, I'm tired of just sitting there throwing items. Am I ever going to be skilled in this game? You know? And that's the thing. I never played before before Smash Brawl, where I started getting into it. I never played Smash Brothers for more than like 300 or 400 hours on any of my systems. You know? I never played it more, but it wasn't until... It wasn't until Smash Brawl, where I really started getting into the competitive scene. And... That's when I really started getting into it, you know, and it made it made a Smash Brothers so much better for me. Switch a jump. Ah! 
I saw I saw his shadow. <laughs> Yeah, they're fine. It's just, not, I mean, that's the way that you know the game was intended to be played. But I think you can play the game in a lot of different ways. You know? Oh, uh, oh, Salem's comeback with, with Shulk was amazing. I'm starting to pick up Shulk a little bit. doesn't have a down smash that, that goes back and forth. God, I ran into the stage.
Game TH Lucas wins. Huh? All right, good games. All right, next up, Dustin G, you're up. Good games, TH. No way to approach. <laughs> Yo, Charity! What's up? Good to see you here. Okay, the gameplay is looking better now. Midas Magnezone. It's, uh, no, it's Dustin G. Dustin G or Mordo. Ready? I know you're busy. I know you're busy. It's just good to see you, that's all. Or it's good to see your, your profile picture. <laughs> no, you're, you're a busy girl. Two, one, go! A little paint meter <laughs> but wait a minute does the paint refill on its own do I how do I refill the, the paint <laughs> hold shield and B okay
so it's running around. Pretty bad here. Somebody got somebody got on Netflix. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> somebody out here, somebody out here streaming, streaming everything in the world. Streaming 4K. I got this McDonald's connection, dude. And it's still frozen! God dang! Okay. Is he still here? What's going on? Did it lag so much he couldn't even recover, dude? So much you couldn't even recover. Public library computers. <laughs> Isn't that fresh public library connection, dude? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, just make sure you pause the stream while you're playing, Mordo. I don't know if you're listening to me right now, just or Dustin G. Just uh, pause the stream while you're playing. That can reduce lag. Oh, he's gone. Um, all right, so next up is uh, uh, Dawson. Dawson31 is next up. My man, my man, uh, Mordo disappeared. So, Dawson, you're next up, dude. Feel free to hop in. Dawson's the, uh, what's it called, man? The Donkey Kong, man. Playing Stadia, just make sure you pause the stream while you guys are playing. You can unpause it so you can hear what I say after the match, but during the match, uh, just make sure it's paused. That was that was interesting. Usually his connection doesn't lag that bad, so there must have been something. There's something wrong with his connection right now. Usually it's not that bad. Usually it's much better. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you're. I was figuring your internet was screwed up because. There's no way your connection is, your connection's not not that bad. Three, two, one, go! Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. the router if you can get me an app that everyone else has uh no, no. It's, it's all good dustin uh we're gonna play we're gonna play uh three or i'm gonna play two more with dawson and then we'll get you right in after we're gonna substitute you back in right after dawson so we'll get two more with you after this one. so we're gonna play two more with uh dawson then we'll get you right back in man it's all good thank you for supporting the channel my man Ready? unfortunate sd on one of those spots Oh man, Isis. Oh no. Three, two, one, go! Yo, Nana's back?
lot of Ices players, so I don't care if they do sync or not. <clears throat> it's literally on random. Ready? Air draws back to the stage, but I didn't. getting the witch time what's the point <laughs> what's, what's the point of getting the witch time if it's a, a, attack just that's so stupid all right well they met everyone Um, all right, Mordo, come back. Go ahead and hop back in, Mordo. That was the dumbest. That was no. It's it's Mordo. Mordo's up next. Mordo's up next. Uh, jump on. We're gonna get. We're gonna get you in just a bit. We're gonna get two games with Mordo. Then we're gonna we're gonna get you in. Yeah, it happens in Super Smash Smash Four, but. Dang, I didn't expect it to happen to me like that. Dang, that was crazy. Like, what's the point? All you can really do is just grab in that situation, then just grab. I did a charged up smash and it didn't kill. It didn't even, tr it, 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 that's a clank, a clank on that. How? A dash attack is stronger than... A clank causes a... Uh, when two attacks are like almost equal in power. Oh, uh, Mortal, can you hop back in, my man? 
If not, we're gonna let, we're gonna let the next person hop in because we, we do have a limited amount of time here. So go ahead and hop back in, bro. So whoever, between Mordo and Jutmon, whoever hops in here first is going to get the games. Because I, I can't be, I can't be waiting for minutes. I can't be wasting time. So uh, Mordo or Jutmon, whoever hops in here first, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Jutmon, whoever gets in here first. If we're already playing a match, please hop out. Whoever doesn't, like, if you see a match in progress, just go ahead and hop out. And you'll get back in. But whoever hops in first, we'll play. Router seems stable. If it uh, camps out in the second game, I pull for today. It sucks that I had to do that game. I felt like I was doing good. Uh, yeah. Um, Jumpmon's in here first, so we'll go ahead and uh, uh, we'll get Jumpmon in a couple games. And if you want to try again, maybe. I'm not really sure. Uh, but either way, thank you for the support. I got, I got the bro I got the brother inkling. Okay, or sorry, I got the brother. Uh, Adam. Two, Let's go. One, they know me. They, go. they know. They know that I'm fighting. It's not, it's not the other girl. What's her face? What's her name? Isabel? Jumpmon killer. <laughs> this stage is the Jumpmon killer. Nobody's had more SDs here than Jumpmon. Not come out even on a short hop sometimes. Oh, it's 
Jump on killer. <laughs> That's the jump on killer, dude. Just counter if you've ever played in tournament, just counter pick jump on to this stage. If it's a game three, just counter pick jump on to this stage and you you've got the you've got the you've got the dub. <laughs> jump on's not pleased. Jump on's not happy. Ready? <laughs> Jump on SDs every time on that stage. Oh no! Oh, here we go. Dunk, dunk, volleyball. Aggro jump on. It's the scariest type of jump on. He just doesn't care anymore. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> the only problem with aggro jump on is that you can kind of guess where he's gonna land, so it makes it somewhat easier to fight him. Finish with up B. I should have finished with up B. I actually should have finished with up B. Yeah, jump on went ungo he went ungo bunga towards the end. <laughs> He went Ungabunga towards the end. 
Was that three? Or was that two? I think that was two. Yeah, that was definitely Unga Bunga. <clears throat> two? Okay. Ready? Oh, here we go. We got Party Man's. Party Man's uh, main. Three, two, one, go! I'll just freaking air dodge. Shame using such a broken character, dude. This character is so broken. Look at this. Look at this. Combos? Look at that. Look at that, dude. So broken. Oops, I put the other way. Not broken. Never mind. Not broken anymore. Games jump on. There we go. We got a lot of people. All right, Rilo, you're next up. Rilo, good stuff. Good stuff to jump on. Rilo's up next. Let's go. So Rilo, go ahead and hop into the arena. Choose your fighter. I'm gonna use Joker for this one. I feel like using Joker. Uh, Rilo, it's you're up, my man. Rilo's up next. If if Rilo doesn't hop in within the next thirty seconds to a minute, we are gonna move on to the next person, which would be uh, Nick Nick War. So I'm sorry, my my router's acting weird. All right, it's cool, dude. All right, so we are gonna have whoever between Rilo or War, Nick War Little, uh, whoever hops in here first, will be able to get in into the match.
No need to apologize though, Dustin G. It happens, man. Sometimes my router was messing up the other day too. Gangplank, we can change the music. <laughs> We've been doing gangplank for a while. In persona? Ready? I'm oh, not going, not going your usual main. Three, two, one, go! Oh wow, I got hit with the last one on that. Stage. One spot dodge. Okay. This, this stage is that slant, that little slant at the bottom literally stops attacks. It stops attacks, it stops you from like even being hit like that. <laughs> This is the, this might be the worst stage. It should be banned. That stage should be absolutely banned. It's so stupid. Cloud's not bad. The cloud's not bad at all, actually. I think I'm, I'm gonna take it off. But although it is a counter pick, though, it is a stage Three, that can be counter picked. Two, but can somebody one, look up if this is go. a legal stage anymore? Because if it's not a legal stage anymore.
Yes. The update goes live. We're still waiting for it, man. Speed. I have a VR guy. Yes, I guess. I've got my VR guy, so. Smash! Can you hit me? Are they going to be doing balance changes? They are going to be doing balance changes. Be gone. GG's. Talked about Blaze 2000. We already, we already talked about uh, uh, the Ghostbuster stuff. We all know, man. It's out, it's out there. It's coming to PS4, Xbox, Three, and Switch. Two, and I think PC. Too. One, go!
Oh god! Okay, Jesus Christ. You can't, can't put us a dash attack? Oh wow, he caught my second jump. Yeah. Nice. Good games. Oh, that's rough. Next up is uh, Cuba's next up. What's up, dude, Dustin? You're good, man. Dustin, you're good. Richter, oh man, that's gonna be projectiles all over the place. Three, two, man, one, switch the wolf. Go! Come <laughs> on. 
Oh god, I got up. I forgot about this dude. I totally forgot about that setup. So I don't know why I did. That too? Joke is a good matchup for this guy. I only got lucky because I gimped him twice. Yeah, I don't know, dude. In good games. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta switch. This is freaking. <laughs> What's up, we have? Thank you. Oh my god. Choose your fighter. <laughs> Let's see. Fox. Let's see. <laughs> Ready? Watch me lose, though. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the last one, guys, and then I got to get ready for the PE podcast tonight and get some more editing done.
Oh, how'd that back air not hit? Oh god, he aimed it down. I didn't know if he could do it yet. Oh, I just missed. Game Chuba. Good second game. Yeah, these matchups. <laughs> I counterpicked those. That, that, was, that, was, that was something that, that's kind of douchey. I'll stop. Yeah, that was a pretty hard counter. I, I can't deal with Richter's on Offline, I could probably more deal with it, but with the input delay, you, you gotta pick somebody with a reflector. Because if you don't, you're just gonna be getting hit with stuff all day. Uh, we already got enough for the PE podcast this week, Leanne, but we can definitely get you on next week. Okay, how how likely is that?
cool. That's so cool that that side dude kills, man. back here. Oh, yeah. oh, one, two, five, four. Okay. say which one is which hey what time is my favorite podcast just want to know for future reference uh it's in about an hour or so good game Suba. all right guys uh we got to wrap it up right there thank you guys so much for watching do appreciate it uh thanks for everybody who played tonight i gotta get ready for the pe podcast and then tomorrow morning we're gonna have a video for you guys a e3 video so that should be fun but all right, uh, we'll see you guys back in about an hour and a half. Hour and a half, we got the PE podcast going down. So uh, we'll see you guys back in about one hour and a half, okay? Doesn't matter where you live, where you are in the world, it's going to be in about an hour and a half, okay? 
All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Do appreciate it. We'll see you guys for the next one. Peace. Very soon. Six o'clock, nine Eastern. PE podcast. Make sure you watch. It's going to be fun. All right, peace out, guys.